welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan. My name is Rose and today I am so excited because I'm going to show you guys a very, very, very popular Korean dish called Bude Jjigae. And we are going to be veganizing it and it is going to be a feast. Okay, let me just tell you. So in English, Bude Jjigae means army base stew. And it's quite a popular Korean bar food. I don't know if you guys know, but in Korea, we like to eat while we drink. It is a thing. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to whip out my soju here that has been sitting in my pantry for way too long. I just feel like I need to drink this, you know, so. We are going to be feasting, we're going to be drinking, and yeah. Let's get started. I'm gonna be honest, I've never actually made this before, but I feel like I can make this work. First thing I'm gonna do is, well, first thing I already did is actually make a broth. This is literally just water and kelp powder. You can use actual dry kelp, but I just use kelp powder because I don't have dry kelp at the moment, and kelp powder is a way to season your broth to give it that kind of seafoody flavor without, ooh, without actually adding fish. You know what I mean? I have that ready. Now I'm gonna make the seasoning paste. So it's very, very simple. I'm adding one teaspoon of sugar. I'm gonna add it into a bowl here. Now you're supposed to add actual garlic, minced garlic, but I am not about that life right now. Like I need to eat ASAP. So I'm just gonna add half a tablespoon of garlic powder. Yay, I freaking love garlic powder. It is a lazy girl's dream, you know? I'm gonna just add half a tablespoon of soy sauce. And then here are the very important ingredients. This is the gochugaru, which is red pepper, uh, red, uh, Korean chili powder, red, um, I don't, uh, gochugaru, Korean chili powder. Why can't I speak? I'm just too hungry. So we're gonna add one, oh God, is this too much? Maybe a little less than one tablespoon, okay. And then we are also going to add my favorite thing in the world, which is Korean red pepper paste. Can you see how much I have left? It isn't that much and it's kind of dried out, but let's just try to make it work, okay? So we're gonna add that in there. And then in order to help us, ooh, it's so dry, why? So that's pretty much the paste ingredients. And then I'm just gonna add, oh gosh darn. And then you're supposed to add some water, but I'm just gonna add this broth because I don't know, it's just easy. It's right here. I'm gonna add three tablespoons of this. And then I'm gonna try to mix this up as best as I can. So I'm not really sure what the history is behind this stew, but I'm pretty sure it happened after the Korean War and all of the US soldiers kind of left their, um, you know, random foods from the US. So this stew is known to be kind of just a really random concoction of foods just put into a stew. The traditional version, the non-vegan version would have like spam and different sausages, just things that you wouldn't really expect in a Korean dish. So I wouldn't really call this a traditional Korean dish because it's still relatively a new dish if it came about after the Korean War, but it's something that's very, very popular in Korea, especially in bars, okay? So that is the paste, see that worked. So that is the paste. Now I'm not really sure exactly how I'm supposed to do this, but okay, is it gonna work? Okay. <laughs> This is my handy dandy, um, what do you call this thing? Portable skillet. I love this thing, it works so well. So I've already prepared the ingredients, if you will. So in this big but kind of shallow pot, I'm gonna add all the ingredients. Now I'm gonna try to make it look pretty, but it's probably not gonna happen. So the first thing I'm adding is some kimchi. We're just gonna kind of lay out the ingredients. So we've got some onions. Here, we've got some enoki mushrooms, and I have some king oyster mushrooms that I chopped up. I also have some vegan sausages. Now, this is pretty important for budetsuge, just to have some sort of like processed fake meat, I guess. We have green onion. We also have tofu, yummy. We also have, this is rice cake, okay? These are cut up Korean rice cakes. We use it for like soups on Korean New Year. You can find this in Korean uh, supermarkets, but just keep in mind, you don't have to add all of these ingredients. The beauty of Pudichige is that you can add whatever you want, guys, kind of, kind of. And this is just half a package of instant noodles. I'm just using half because I don't know, this is gonna be a lot of food, you guys. I am alone, what is this? Oh, that's pretty, look at that. 
Look how pretty that looks. Okay, now let me see if I can take a shot. So as you guys can see here, I've laid out all the ingredients. Again, like I said, you do not have to add all of these. You can add other things if you want. These are just some ideas and suggestions for you. So I have king oyster mushrooms. I have some enoki mushrooms. I've got chopped onion. I've got two different types of vegan sausages that I chopped up. I have some vegan kimchi here. If you guys want the recipe for this, I do have a video on my channel. I'll link that down below to my mom's very delicious vegan kimchi recipe. I also have some green onion chopped up. I've got some soft tofu here, half a package of instant noodles, just the noodle portion. And I also have these Korean rice cakes. These are all optional ingredients. Feel free to play around with whatever you want. All right, now I think I'm just supposed to add the sauce into the mixture. Oh gosh. So I'm just gonna add that in there. I don't wanna waste the sauce. My parents taught me never to waste food, you guys. Never to waste food. I'm gonna turn this on, and then what you wanna do is actually, I think I'm supposed to pour in this um, broth. Oh God, oh God, oh God, I'm scared. Ooh. Oh my gosh, you guys, this looks sexy AF. Okay, well, it needs to boil. <laughs> and while it's boiling, hi! <laughs> oh, I need to get some rice. How are y'all doing? Okay, I'm so excited. I'm actually so hungry. Like, this is ridiculous. I hope this boils really fast. I think I'm just going to cover this up and let it come to a nice boil as I sit here and wait very, very patiently. So I'm going to be drinking some soju. This is Korean. Um, vodka. I don't know if you can even call it Korean vodka, but basically it's a Korean national drink, okay? If you go to Korea, you will see soju everywhere. Soju is very, very popular in Korea. It is not pleasant. Like, it's, I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's not an easy thing to drink, but let's take a shot, <laughs> okay? Actually, I might want to wait until... Oh, gosh darn. Okay. Korean people kind of have to eat while they drink. It's like a thing, you know? It's not very common to have the Western style bar where you just sit around with like highballs and like straws. It's more like you sit around with your friends with like a bunch of food in front of you and you drink soju. Okay. So budejjigae or army based stew is a very popular dish to eat while drinking. So there's an actual term for this. It's called anju. Anju is a term to describe foods that you eat while you drink alcohol. <laughs> yes, we do have a term for that. Anything that you eat while you drink is called anju. If you're drinking, you're like, oh, I need some anju. That just means I need some food, basically. Okay, but for some reason, we have a term for this. <laughs> this is my anju, and this is my soju. Ju, I think, means alcohol. I should know this. I don't know why I'm giving you guys a Korean lesson, but I'm hoping you are enjoying it. <laughs> so I actually haven't had budejjigae as a vegan. I think the last time I had budejjigae was like probably seven years ago, maybe eight years ago. I don't even know. Come on, come to a boil. I am hungry. Ooh, that is spicy broth, guys. I'm excited. The broth actually tastes really good. I can taste the kimchi, I can taste Gochujang. Mm hmm. Ooh, that has a kick. That definitely has a kick. Let's take a shot of soju. It's Friday, people. This is how I'm spending my Friday. I'll probably get drunk and then want to go out after, but we'll see. Soju is, I think, around 19 to 20% alcohol. Oh, 17.8% alcohol. For some reason, it's very strong. You can easily, easily get drunk on soju and it, it can be very dangerous. Okay. Normally in Korean culture, you don't pour your own drinks. So if you're drinking with somebody else, they're going to pour you your drink and you pour them their drink. It's just kind of like a, you know, the principle of reciprocity, you know, but since I'm alone, okay, I'm just gonna, oh God, I'm actually kind of scared to drink this, but cheers or kombe. Like I'm in a Korean bar. 
Korean people, when they drink alcohol, they make that sound that I just made. And I swear to God, it like makes it like better. I don't know. Kind of gets rid of that like feeling, if you will. Oh my gosh, you guys, this looks delicious. As you can see, things are boiling, things are happening. I don't know if I should eat yet. Mm. It's not like super salty, which is good. I don't want it to be super salty. Um, I don't know what's done. Of course, I'm gonna have some instant noodles first. Woohoo! Mmm. Oh. Mmm. I was going to say. This really reminds me of the hot pot that I did, hot pot mukbang that I did, because it's pretty much kind of like a very similar concept. Us Asians, we always like to do like some kind of big pot of stew and just like eat together. I don't know. It's like a thing. It's, it's a weird thing, but I love it. Mmm, okay. I'm definitely gonna just start eating. I have some rice here. I'm just going to try some vegan sausage. I'm gonna take some enoki mushrooms. I'm gonna take some... The onions might need a little bit more cooking. I've got some green onions here. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is so exciting. I kind of wish I kind of did this with somebody because this is a lot of food. Mmm. Mmm. Whatever vegan sausage I just ate was really good. One of the vegan sausages I'm using is from a brand called Eve's. And then one of them is Tofurky, and I think I actually prefer the Eve's one. Oh! Guys, this is so good. I highly recommend trying it. Again, probably not alone. Do this with somebody else, people. Mmm! Mmm, mmm, mmm. to turn this down. Mm. Mm. Oh you guys I love Korean food seriously. Korean food is like seriously the best. Okay. I'm not saying that just because I'm Korean okay. Mm. So do you guys like Korean food? If you do comment down below like what is your favorite Korean dish? Mm. You guys this is so good. Mm. Ooh. Should I just mix it all now at this point? Yeah. Korean food is just my life, okay? It's so good. Um, despite what people think, it's so easy to veganize. Mmm. Mmm. I wonder how much of this I can eat. Mm. Also, if you haven't tried rice cakes, you must try. Mm. I have been thinking for a little bit about starting a mukbang channel where you know I only do mukbang videos like very specific channel I don't know what do you guys think about that I feel like obviously you guys are already watching me you guys don't really care like you'll just watch my videos on this channel but I feel like for purposes of other people finding me other people finding mukbang videos you know it is a good idea to kind of have a specific channel for one thing you know like a targeted audience mm. but i don't really know it's also going to be a lot of work <laughs> so i'm not really sure but if i just do mukbang videos on one channel, I feel like I could reach a bigger audience. What do you guys think? 
or I don't have time for this, so maybe not. <laughs> mm. Oh, this is so good, you guys. This is like hot pot, but like even better. Mm. Guys, I already feel the alcohol. I only have one shot. <laughs> Woo! Come back. This actually goes so well with soju. Like, I honestly just feel like I'm in a Korean bar or Korean restaurant right now. Oh my god. sorcery is this it just started boiling <laughs> again out of nowhere okay oh it stopped again i don't know Whew. you guys seriously what is the deal with instant noodles why are they so good I don't really like the tofurkey ones, tofurkey sausages. I don't really like them. Mm, mm -mm. I'll eat it, but it has that really strong soy taste. You know what I mean? That really strong fake meat taste. Like it's super obvious it's fake meat, you know? So guys let me know down below if you think it's a good idea to start a new mukbang channel or if you think it like just leave it just in general not just for yourself but oh is there another vegan mukbang channel right now no like one that's specifically for mukbang And I guess if I do mukbang videos on a different channel, I'll need to actually like tell you stories and stuff. <laughs> I'll have stories, I think. I've lived a pretty adventurous life. <laughs> Although, I'm not sure how much of that I should share on the internet. Mm. Rice cakes are so good. Mm. Oh my gosh. I feel like I can finish this. <laughs> Do I have an issue? <laughs> Do I have a problem? Like. But seriously, sometimes I'm like, how do I eat so much? So some people ask me how I eat so much and stay, I guess, my size. My answer is I don't eat like this every day, okay? This is a treat, you know what I'm saying? And I do have treats. Here's the thing, I think the most important thing, not that I'm an expert and I'm not like so 100% confident in my body, but at the same time, over my experience in life, I feel like being super stressed about weight loss is not a good thing, but also not caring at all is also not a good thing. So I feel like having a balance of like just being mindful is the most important thing. And just like overall your daily life, eating healthy, exercising, going to the gym or doing whatever exercise you can 
Like I just went to the gym before this. You know what I'm saying? You gotta find a balance. You know? Mmm. And also, when you stress about food too much, or stress about not losing weight or something, stress is not good for weight loss. So it's like a it's a really bad cycle. Mmm. Having balance. I think it's the most important thing. It's easier said than done. You know? Half the time, I don't know what I'm doing. I think now I have a pretty healthy relationship with food. Mmm. Mmm. Eating healthy on a daily basis, almost every day, and then treating yourself is fine, in my opinion. Oh, and weight loss does not happen overnight, okay? If it does happen overnight, you're probably gonna get it back overnight. <laughs> Come here. Ah. Ah. Drinking's fine. <laughs> Do you guys like mukbang videos? Do you actually watch the whole thing? If you're still watching, comment down below. Uh, what should you comment down below? Kombe. I don't know if you know how to spell it, but right, kombe. Kombe means cheers in Korean, but try to spell it in the way that you think it's spelled. Kombe. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, mushrooms come to me. Have you guys been to Korea? If so, what did you think? Have you been to Korea as a vegan, I should ask? I actually haven't been to Korea for so long now. Mm. The last time I went, I wasn't even vegetarian, let alone vegan, so... I have no idea what it would be like to go as a vegan. I imagine it would be kind of difficult just because people don't really get it, but... Guys, this is so good. I feel like I can just keep eating and eating and eating. I'm sweating though. Oh. Yeah, the last time I went to Korea was in 2011. I was just going on the way to Singapore because I did an exchange semester in Singapore when I was in university. I went to Korea first for maybe like a month. And then I went to Singapore. And then I did drop by Korea before I went back to Canada in like May, but for like a very short layover. But yeah, I haven't been back for a long time. If you guys didn't know, I was born in Korea. I moved to Canada when I was eight. Hmm. Oh my God, guys. I think I can finish this, <laughs> like for real. Mm. Ah! 
I burnt my throat. I used to go out to Korea a, a lot when I was younger. Like when I was like in my teenage years. But I haven't been back for a long time just because I've been traveling elsewhere. You know, living in the UK. I like the Eve's sausages. They definitely taste better. Mm. Do you guys eat when you watch these mukbangs? If you do, let me know what are you eating. Time for another shot. Come back. So good. Part of me wants to add more stuff, but oh. mm. I think we're out of sausages. I definitely want to add more sausages, yo. Do I have a problem? So, Korean rice cake is called tteok in Korean. Tteok! Mmm! <laughs> Should I have more rice cake? No. There's quite a few in there. like perfect for this because it boils and then it calms down for a bit and then it boils again so it's like it keeps it hot but it's not like boiling constantly and you don't have to adjust it all the time mm. it's too hot It's kind of scary that I don't actually feel that full. <laughs> like, I feel like I could keep eating. I could add more stuff. But I'm sweating, so. <laughs> it's also probably because I didn't drink any water, so I'm not that full. Or maybe because I'm drinking alcohol. Mm. Or maybe I can just eat a lot. <laughs> yep, it's probably the latter. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off now. Whew! Soju! Look how well I'm doing. So normally they come in these like glass bottles, the soju, and it's like it doesn't look like this, but this is the travel version because my parents, my dad brought this from Korea. I'm gonna burp. No, I'm not. <sighs> Soju and this go really well together. Mmm. Mmm.
Oh my god, this is so good. You know those foods that you just like eat and eat and eat and you don't get sick of? This is like that. There's a lot of foods that you can eat and initially it's like so good, but then you eat like, you know, five bites and then you get sick of it. But this, like literally I could eat this like all night, which I have been doing. <laughs> Do you guys make noises when you eat too? I feel like every time I eat, I'm just like, mmm, so good. I feel like I'm just gonna finish this whole thing of soju. It's hot. was such a success i'm so happy i was actually like unsure how this was going to turn out because i've never actually made this before but it's actually so easy mm. let me know also if you guys want me to do a different kind of mukbang. Like, what do you want me to eat next? Mmm. I don't know if it's getting hot or I'm getting drunk. <laughs> it looks like I'm finishing everything. Come back. Oh, I don't know if I can drink anymore. I'm actually finally starting to get a little bit full. Woo! Oh, that was disgusting. Woo! I did a big shot there and that was so gross. Oh, soju, I told you it's not that good. <laughs> Although now, they have this thing called flavored soju, so it's like flavored vodka, but oh my god, it's so good. Especially the grape one, oh my god. Mmm. Do you see what's going on here? Do you see what just happened? I finished this whole thing. Oh my gosh. Whew. You guys, I think I'm ready for women versus food. Whew. The sad thing is, I could definitely eat a little bit more, but I'm definitely full. I mean, yeah, I'm full. You know what? I kind of want a little bit of dessert. It's really hot, so I'm gonna have a little bit of my trusty Ben and Jerry's. I only have a little bit left. So I'm just going to eat some of this. Oh. Are you surprised that I could finish it all? Or were you not surprised because you've seen my videos before where I'm eating? <laughs> what can I say? I have a strong appetite and I enjoy food, you know? And this is so good, you guys. The broth was delicious. It wasn't overly salty. Um, it wasn't overly spicy, but just the right amount, you know, I'm just like, oh, it was so good. So good. Highly recommend trying this out, you guys. I can't finish the soju. It was too gross at the end. <laughs> I'm not feeling drunk, but I'm full somewhat. All right, you guys. So I am going to just take a little moment with my Ben and Jerry's, have a little private moment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. And if you do try this out, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, take a photo of it and tag me at CheapLazyVegan, hashtag CheapLazyVegan. I would love to see your photos. Seriously, this is so good. It is bomb. It is bomb. If you are not convinced, I mean, just look at the emptiness 
of this thing, okay? And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!